despite not making the opening day roster, Miguel and Duhar was one of the Yankees' most valuable players in 2018. So much so, he was named the runner-up American League Rookie of the Year. That one's good. Left field. Going back, Hernandez. Trap. Wall. Leaps. See ya. A grand slam for Andrew. How good was Miguel and Duhar's season? He led all Major League rookies in hits, doubles, RBIs, extra base hits, and multi-hit games, and was tied for first in home runs. He also finished second in runs scored and batting average. And Duhar set records at the Major League level, too. He was the first rookie third baseman ever with at least 25 home runs and 40 doubles in a season, and just the second Yankees rookie to accomplish that feat. June was an extraordinary month for Mickey. He was named the AL Rookie of the Month after compiling 10 runs, 6 doubles, 7 home runs, and leading all of baseball with 20 RBIs. He was even more impressive in August, earning a second Rookie of the Month award. The Yankees' third baseman hit 320 with 21 runs, 7 doubles, and an AL leading 10 homers and 29 RBIs. That one is driven to right field, going back to Tony Rookie. And Duhar was the complete package at the plate. He was clutch with four go-ahead hits in the seventh inning or later, including a walk-off. Luke in the right center field. That is a base hit. The Yankees win it. Miguel and Duhar with a walk-off single. And the Yankees win 7-6. He was a tough out. 14 of his 27 home runs came while behind in the count. Four more than any other major leaguer. Mickey was also one of five players in the majors to hit more than 25 homers and strike out less than 100 times. The 23-year-old third baseman not only held his own, but bashed his way to the heart of the order for the Bombers in 2018. After amassing 27 home runs, 92 RBIs, a 297 average, and a Yankees rookie record 47 doubles, Miguel and Duhar will look to build off a sensational freshman campaign in 2019.